The fifth point of uh, what we sometimes call the uh, doctrines of grace, there were the five points of Calvinism, uh, is the perseverance of the saints. That's this chapter, chapter 17 in the Westminster Confession. And when we teach that, uh, we often say that it really should be called the preservation of the saints because it's all of God's grace by which we make it to the end. And yet, uh, in the first paragraph, the pastors who wrote this wrote this chapter explained that it is possible to fall away for a time to, that is to, to wander away from grace and be disobedient. Uh, but God is not, God is not promising one uh, solid uh, course of sanctification. He is saying that by the end, He will get us home. Now, the reason this perseverance of the saints is assured, again, is because of, of the certainty of God's grace. That's paragraph two. And uh, what strikes me in this paragraph is the exertion of each member of the Godhead in ensuring that uh, the gospel conquers our wayward wills. It's because of God's seed in us, they say. It's because of the merit of Christ's uh, work in our behalf and His continual intercession. It's the abiding work and presence of the Spirit by which we make it to the end. The third paragraph explains why we sometimes uh, wander. It can be because of our giving into temptations, the, the severe uh, and enticing temptations of Satan and the world because of the prevalency of corruption remaining in us, or what we call in theology, indwelling sin, or the neglect of the means of grace. Uh, that is, by failing to read the Bible, by neglecting attendance to church and the celebration of the sacraments, by not praying. And the result of that wandering, uh, the writers say, drawing on the whole picture of Scripture is that we incur God's displeasure, uh, not His rejection, but His fatherly displeasure. He's not pleased when we disobey Him. We grieve the Holy Spirit who loves us. We can be deprived of the comforts that are usually ours in the gospel. Our hearts can be hardened. Our consciences can be wounded. We hurt and scandalize others and we can bring temporal judgments on ourselves. This chapter calls us to reflect warmly on what each member of the Godhead has done for us to save us and what they each do to continue to save us. And it should woo our hearts back from disobedience uh, to following with perseverance the God who first loved us in Jesus.